guys, it's Pope. I'm really excited. I can finally tell you guys about the pre-workout that I've been raving about for the last several months since I signed with Universal as my supplement sponsor. It is a brand new product to their line and it hadn't been released yet and I was getting to try it. And I was doing a lot of reviews for them and helping them with the next flavor combination and working on some commercial stuff with them on my trips up there. But I was never able to talk about it because they were actually revamping their logo. So the products that I had were just tester bottles and I weren't, was not allowed to show them. But now the product is finished, it is on the market, and I'm excited to share it with you guys since I've been using it every day and I absolutely love it. I am not one that likes the traditional stimulant pre-workout. It's a bit too much for me and I end up either having my skin feel like it's crawling from too much beta alanine or like too much caffeine at one time and just feel that like overload shaky jittery stuff. And I can totally understand like the CrossFit community or even general fitness type of workouts where you just want to feel like super amped the whole time. Weightlifting isn't necessarily like that, somewhat on the clean and jerk, but definitely not on snatch. You want to be able to feel energized, but also calm in your mind. And I had not found a good stimulant product that didn't take me beyond that point where I could still maintain a calm composure setting up for my lift. And that is why I like this product. So here she is. Amino Octane, my very favorite supplement I've ever used. It is super simple, it's BCAAs and caffeine, and the caffeine comes from straight up caffeine and green tea leaf. So it's just clean, straightforward caffeine, not any extra chemical stimulants. And the BCAAs you get with it, so I don't use an additional BCA powder. This is what I do for BCAAs and my energy for pre-workout. Before I was using this, I used to do a monster every day, which A, is not cost effective, and B, has a lot of chemicals in it, and this makes me feel a bit better. There's no crash afterwards. So that's why I made the switch to this, and I have not looked back. I still do like a monster every now and then, but not really before training. I would much rather use a scoop of this. Two flavors they've got going on right now, fruit punch and blue, yeah, blue raspberry. I've tried both, I don't really have a favorite. Maybe right now I like the fruit punch a little bit better because I've used the blue one too much. There's also a mango flavor coming out that's not quite ready yet that I just started trying like last week when I got it. Super good. So yeah, all that hype and lead up for something that is actually pretty straightforward as far as caffeine supplements go, but I really do like it and I use it every day. I don't use a ton of different supplements, but the ones that I have found from Universal that I like using in my daily routine, I genuinely enjoy using them or I wouldn't. <laughs> There's like maybe a list of five go-tos like protein, egg white protein, uh, the carb supplement, and this. Sometimes I take the ZMA pills. I don't have a huge stack, but the products that I do like, I am definitely using every day. So I wanted to let everyone know about this one because it's really cool and this is the new label this cool lightning bolt that is also a 77 because universal has been in business since 1977 so yeah my secret's out this is how you pr everything One scoop has 175 milligrams of caffeine and I'm pretty sure that I think it has 200 in a monster in the whole can. As far as my whole day's caffeine intake goes, I try to have one cup of coffee in the morning and then I do all my work and then later in the day I'm having this pre-workout. So it's maybe totaling a little over 300 milligrams to 350 milligrams, somewhere around there. I try not to have too much throughout the day and I do taper my caffeine before a meet. I try the entire week leading up to a meet to cut my caffeine intake in half, try not to supplement any before I lift. So then on meet day, I am feeling super pumped up to lift some weights. About to get changed for lifting. Today I have some front squats to do and power snatch and jerks. And my jerk programming today says two singles at 100 and then go up to a heavy single if it feels good. My training has been really hit or miss these last few weeks. 
I've been really pushing my numbers and using higher baseline numbers for my percentages, especially on squats. So some days I'm feeling super awesome and some days I'm feeling very weak and everything is hurting and I feel like a weightlifter. I haven't been thrilled with what I've been doing in the gym, but at the same time keeping in mind that I'm pushing my limits and pushing myself harder than I ever have. So I haven't been filming a whole lot lately because I've been kind of frustrated and keeping myself off camera has kind of helped me stay a bit more even keel. But today's gonna be a good day. I love power snatch and I like front squats and I like jerks, so it's gonna go well. About three weeks out from nationals and my body weight has been super low. I feel like I'm not gonna have to cut it at all. I weighed 64.3 today. Did a really good snatch workout earlier in the week this week. I had 14 snatches above 77 kilos and I was really happy to finish that. That's kind of what I'm talking about. I'm really like pushing, not necessarily the numbers I'm hitting, but pushing the number of reps I'm hitting at a certain weight. So there's been a lot more missing lately than I would like, but I have to keep it, like keep my mental game in check that I'm trying to level up. I'm trying to <laughs> trying to reach for some new new things. We're gonna adapt and keep pushing and keep getting stronger. Time to lift. Also, oh my gosh, you gotta check out my new sign. Is that not the coolest? How good this turned out makes me feel a lot better with how long I took deciding on the logo for Barbells and Bows. I freaking love it. We're gonna put sponsors and partners underneath there and it's gonna look epic.
So happy with how that workout went. It uh, exceeded at my expectations, which is always nice. Front squats, I did the same numbers that I did last week, but this week my top two sets moved much faster and held my position better. I did up to 118 kilos, was able to keep my elbows up and my back tight throughout the whole lift this week. So I'm very happy with squats. Power snatch started out a bit slow, but then kind of gained momentum towards the end. It's super hard to do the power snatch after front squat. That's how I do it on Wednesday. I squat first, so I work on fatigued legs on everything else. I actually really like doing that because I get a good response, I think, from my body trying to train fatigue like that and really focus on pushing through my legs while they're tired. So power snatch, kind of boring weights at 65, but I did a lot of reps there. And then I did some killer jerks at the end today. I am not as good at jerking off the blocks as I am after a clean. That's why you see me do like a huge re-rack because I've found that it helps like my nervous system or just my body in general like feel the weight better and better gauge how hard to extend through my dip and drive. So I do a kind of obnoxiously big re-rack when I work off the blocks and worked up through 110 super solid. And then an all-time jerk PR at 113. I've only split 112 before, two years ago. And now I am officially power jerking all-time PRs. This is so exciting. And knowing that I'm not as good off the blocks is very encouraging on what I can hit in the clean and jerk coming soon. So today I feel really good about what I did and have some momentum going for some heavy stuff towards the end of the week. So that was awesome. Very, very good training day. I'm happy. I do want to let you guys know the Strength From Struggle restock is coming just a couple days. I'm going to be launching the restock on Monday, May 8th, and everyone on my mailing list is going to get a notification a few hours before I post the release. So check the description and I'll even post a comment, pin a comment too, on how to sign up for the mailing list because these sold out super fast last time and I can't afford to buy a huge inventory that I know is not going to sell because I'm not a huge business, I'm a very small business and this has been a very popular design and they're going to sell out fast again. So if you want one of these shirts, join the mailing list so you know before everyone else. We're going to have the crop tops again, I wear a small and you can see like I have kind of a short torso so it like barely shows a little skin. If you have like a longer torso, it's gonna show some skin, but not a lot. It's not like an actual crop top, it's long. It's just cut to where it doesn't hang over your pants. Going to have hoodies that are super nice quality. They're very thick, I love the hoodie. And I'm going to have mugs, and I'm selling these hair bows, which are so cute. They have a barbell charm on them. And there's a few different colors of those. I hope everyone that wants this stuff gets it this time, because I know some people were <laughs> bit upset that I didn't have enough the first time around. I did try to get more bigger sizes because I sold out, especially in the t-shirt version of this, I sold out of like the men's sizing really fast. So I tried to do better with what I stocked, but bear with me. This is my first like big apparel line I've ever done. It's been a success, which is awesome. And I love that people love it. it makes me excited about what I'm doing. And I really appreciate the support from you guys that want to wear what I design. That's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys like hanging out with me and training today. I will see you in the next one. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave me comments, all that good stuff. I try to respond to as many as I can. I'll see you soon. Bye.